Well, I think the most exciting development has actually taken place very recently. Over the past couple of years, we've been researching a new framework on financial sustainability. And it really has its roots in an economic hypothesis, if you will, called the tragedy of the commons. Are you familiar with the tragedy of the you commons, know, Tim? Uh, just a little bit. Just a little bit. So um, what that's all about is imagine, if you will, um, a commonly owned grazing area where the grazing area is surrounded by a number of farmers and all those farmers own the grazing area. So we'll call the first farmer, Farmer A, has an incentive and that incentive is to send his animals onto the grazing area as much as possible because if he doesn't, farmers B through Z are still sending their animals and farmer A is losing out, right? And so all the farmers have the same exact incentive as individuals. So as a group, they all send their animals as much as possible onto the grazing area and the grazing area is grazed down to nothing over time, hence the tragedy of the commons, right? right. And the premise of our research is that the public budget has a lot in common with that commonly owned grazing mm -hmm. area, where the public budget is essentially owned by all the different stakeholder groups in the community. And like those farmers, the stakeholders have the same incentive to get as much as possible from the public budget, because if you don't, someone else will, and you will lose out. And if all stakeholders have the same incentive, the public budget is eventually grazed down to nothing over time, and financial distress ensues. So the good news is that there's something called common pool resource theory, which is a Nobel Prize winning body of work about how to have sustainable governance over commonly occurring natural resources like grazing areas, water rights, fisheries, so on and so forth. And we've translated all this work to public finance using about 25 odd case studies to prove out these concepts in real life. 